Nestled on the banks of the Hudson River, Mikey Stadium. It will play host to some of the nation's finest today and another thrilling edition of Army football. Today, two teams get set to square off in an intra-conference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the Memphis Tigers taking on the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. We'll kick it off to get us underway. The returner will field it and try to do some business. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. So the Army Black Knights offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got his man on the right. Still on his feet at the 45. Got a lot of running room. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Black Knight! Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defense all year long. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. Fielded in the end zone, it's Clark. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. So the Memphis Tigers offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Flips it out to the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. He's taking down at the 40. The give to the tailback. Looks as if he'll have enough to give Memphis a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Dropping back, it's Casey. This time it's complete. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a roll with a pickup of 15 and a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. And he delivers the angry stiff arm, but is greeted by an angrier defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. 
Here's the pass. Intercepted. Got some room to run. The 30. Inside the 10. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Army! What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get... Oh, it's loose! And he falls on top of his own fumble. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Crosses to 35. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. And still a few inches short of the sticks as they come to the line for second down. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And the Tigers are marching down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Clark. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Offense picking up steam, first and 10 from the 31. The gift to the back. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Memphis hoping to take advantage of this red zone trip. They're going to ride this running back. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. They'll run it. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. And these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. Lining up to add another. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Washington State answered the bell away from Pullman today with an impressive victory. The Cougars knew the challenges awaiting them, and they met them head on. Generally the mark of our really good team. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. 
He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. It's complete to the left. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. And the Black Knights will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. And really good job getting to the quarterback. That's priority number one, trying to get pressure on him, get him to the ground as a bonus. They had six sacks in their last game. They got to keep building on that number if they want to keep stacking wins. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. He's looking to throw. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick completion on the out route. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave him the completion. What did he do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. Got the quick completion. At the 45 on his way. Open runway ahead. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Memphis. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down the boulevard. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. After that latest answer, tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. He wants to pass it on second down. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. He'll keep it himself. Keeps it and gets past the chains. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Getting some heat. Takes the easy one to the back. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. They're trying to get to him. Unleashes one. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Black Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turtle. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Lofts one high and deep. It's complete. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the knee stopped him at the two. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. 
And he takes it in for a score. Touchdown, Rack right Knights! Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the Hallelujah Land. And I tell you what, most of the time when you see the requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack, that was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. He marched 78 yards down the field and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And here's the return. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyway... Afterburner's coming. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job oh, taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Got his man quickly. Touchdown, Army! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. This offense is so good, and they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Caught over the middle, it's Clark. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. Now on first down from the 28. The give out of the gun. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Hand off to the lone back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Quick pass to the left. Trying to get it to the marker. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. They'll go to the ground. Fights off a defender. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Back to pass. It's Casey. Dances away. 
short gain on the play before he slides. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of delay game. game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. On third and long, trying to convert through the air. Finds his man. It's Clark. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Trying to punch it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? On the option. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the option as he's tackled in the backfield. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going in. And he's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, fellas, here's a final update on a top 15 clash. Oregon was anything but dominant today, but the Ducks are going to leave Autzen Stadium winners. A lot to work on, no question, but they avoid one in the L Cup. No cupcakes this week, fellas. This top 15 battle was much anticipated, and at least one side can say it's a game they'll savor for some time. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. And the pass is in, complete jar loose by the hit. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Offensive coordinators don't really have play sheets for third and 75. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but when you put yourself in a bad situation, backed up like this, you know, with mistakes and, and negative plays, not many plays in the playbook you can call. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. Man, this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Looking to throw, it's Casey. Works the middle. Knocked down at the 47. It's a five-yard gain and enough to move the chains. He wants to throw it again. Buying some time. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. He's got the tight end. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Going up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. That pass is incomplete. After they couldn't connect, it's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Release to the back. Got a man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Memphis coming to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a space. And he's got it! Touchdown, Memphis! Touchdown, Memphis. 
Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Ready to try the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They took it 71 yards down the field. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He's not going to make it to the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 17. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot and see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. You're going to be aggressive with your decision. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Pass is incomplete and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Offense gets set for second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Going for it all. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. It's good. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. Two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, one thing we can always count on is a great atmosphere in West Point. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Blake Field inside Mikey Stadium. And the Black Knights will boot it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. Those two first-half turnovers really damaging, and the primary reason they find themselves trailing to start the third quarter. And this is an offense that prides themselves on taking care of the football and then having explosive plays. You know they're playing angry right now. They're mad. They know they're the reason why they're down in this game, so I expect them to... And he throws another interception, his third one of the night. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 37. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? The back goes in motion. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Fires into traffic, intercepted. 
A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Rides to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Scanning the field, it's Casey. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. He's got great speed. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. They'll put the ball in play from just inside their own 40 at the 39. He'll do it himself. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And that ball is picked off. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. And we know turnover margin is a huge part of winning ball games. Interception number two, his quarterback has to do a better job taking care of the football. Don't force it. Take the high completion percentage stuff. Don't always try to go for the big play. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Caught in the backfield, it's Clark. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. They're working that left side. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, this offensive line knew they had a huge challenge coming into this game because the defense registered six sacks there last time out. They knew that they were going to have to win some one-on-ones up front. They finally lost the battle on that last play, though. That was the first sack they've allowed in this game. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And guys, after that field goal, brand new ball game, all tied up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. The give to the running back from the shotgun. 
banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Now the play fake. He fires to the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. The Black Knights want to move quickly. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back goes in motion. On second down, he'll fire. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to him. He's got it. Touchdown, Black Knights! And that one will give him the lead. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Toledo notched a victory in enemy territory, and though it wasn't a dominant win, I'd argue any win away from the glass bowl is worth its weight in gold to the Rockets. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Looking downfield, it's Casey. They're bringing heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now his 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays, and he is not cooperating with this offense's game plan. Memphis will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. <laughs> and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time. A third and long coming up here. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. On his way back from the 20. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. Give to the single back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Looking to throw on second down. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. It is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. When 
you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. And the defense gets Rouge, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. The trend continues for this offensive line from last week. They gave up five sacks last week. They've given up four today. The most important part of your offense is protecting that quarterback. They've got to do a better job. Memphis will send the punt team onto the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets it away from his own end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Looking to throw on second down. Just too much of a rush. And down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And that's just pure speed off the line of scrimmage. That offensive tackle had no shot. Barely even got a hand on that D-end as he came around the outside. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete to the right. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. And the Black Knights decide to punt it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Give to the back. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Casey. He's got his man. This is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. Memphis getting set to snap it on first and ten. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and twelve. He's looking to throw. He makes the grab. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down. They've got it at the 40. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. At the 20, he's got space. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll ride the hot hand. Strikes the blow. Touchdown, Memphis! And they take it in for six more points. One step wrap, two step squeeze. See what you hit, hit what you see, bring your feet. Yeah, none of that happened. Yeah, those are all great things to keep in mind, but you're also trying to tackle another grown man against his will and get him on the ground. And by the way, he wasn't having it. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. The give on the inside. 
And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. He's got it on the right. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got him downfield. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Army! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. Off the play fake on first down to throw. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air, it's Casey. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And it's his fourth interception of the game. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Man, I've been there. This is one of those games you just want to forget right away and turn the page. Four picks now thrown by this guy. And you're just not able to make your reads. Things aren't clicking. You're not seeing the field. And the ball's not coming out right. Next week cannot come soon enough for him, let me tell you that. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. To the air on first down. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The Black Knights line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Dropping back, it's Casey. Quickly to the tight end. He'll make the stop at the 21 after a pickup of about five. Ball spotted at the 21. It's first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying play action. Great catch along the sidelines, but the object is to go forward. The crowd elevating its energy, willing this defense to get a stop on this big third down. 
And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Memphis will be forced to punt. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the lap. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Well, what a play by the defense there. Trailing here in the fourth quarter by one possession. Able to steal it away now and put their offense in position to at least go tie this game. Offense getting set for first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Got his man down the middle. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop. Touchdown, Tigers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And great job executing the offense, did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter, you probably want to do that. But you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. TCU packed a wallop today, and in many ways felt like it packed Horn Frogs Nation with them, too. This was supposed to be a road test, and instead, it felt like a walk through the park in Fort Worth. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Touchdown, Black Knights! They've got the lead here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. They'll try to tack on an extra point here deep in the game. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. Dropping back, it's Casey. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. It'll be first and ten from the 30. He wants to throw. The short hands. It's Hainsworth. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. Feeling some heat. They've got the screen set up. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leads them in second and manageable. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. 
throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. Trailing by a touchdown, this fourth down opportunity is gargantuan. They'll try to pick up the first. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Looking for a productive play on first down. The quarterback takes a snap and takes a knee. Well, look what we have here, guys. After all the early season doubts, these guys have put together a winning streak. They sure have. Man, they're just believing in themselves right now. This is a completely different-looking team than what we saw early in the year. They're playing with so much more confidence. And, David, when you start making plays, you start stringing Ws together, that's obviously what happens. Everybody gets energized. Everybody starts to contribute. Young guys start to grow up. Coaches start to believe in them. Everything starts to turn around and swing the other way. They got it all going in the right direction. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.